Okay, write with positive exponents and then simplify if possible. Okay? Now, some of you might remember these rules. Have a look at this. How about 5? Well, if we do 5 squared, 5 squared is 25. Okay? 5 to the power negative 2, right, it's not negative 25, okay? You have to make that into a positive exponent. And it's like you kind of flip things, all right? If you have a negative exponent and it's a numerator, if you flip it, that exponent becomes positive, okay? So that is 1 over 25, okay? That's the answer to that, okay? Right, so let's have a look at this question 3 here. 25 to the negative 3 over 2, so if, yeah, if I write it like that, write it over 1, okay? It's going to be 1 over 25 to the positive 3 over 2, okay? Then you have to remember how to can work out Remember these from previously? Okay, so that is going to equal, right, 1 over. What it's saying is, is, remember this, let's square root first and then cube it, okay? So what's the square root of 25? The square root of 25, okay, so I'll just do that first. Let's go oh, to one side. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to square root it. That will give me 5, okay? Then I'm going to cube it. So what's 5 cubed? 125. Okay? So that is the answer to that right there. Okay? Right. Um, I think we'll leave that one there because the other ones are some different rules. But just remember the negative exponents. Okay?